What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping into Destiny 2 for the weekly reset, and of course it's the 28th of January, so today we do have the arrival of update 2.7.1, and this brings a few different buffs and quality of life improvements. There are a couple of fixes there, and so we will round up the new update, but otherwise we'll round up some bits of game news. Of course Bastion was slated for the roadmap today, but has already been released, so I'm not sure if anything else will pop up for now, but we will round up the rest of the weekly reset, rewards, vendors, and what you need to know this week. First up though, quick shout out to my sponsor Now Drinks with their new flavor. So Pineapple Twist is now available and this one is really tasty and sugar free as well as helping to improve focus and memory while gaming. And the new flavor is actually sold out but we're very lucky because we have an extra 200 packs reserved just for you guys. So if you do want to try it out, be sure to use my link below and use code Houndish at checkout because you'll even get a free shaker with every order as well. And so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to follow the links in the description. Now though, getting into Destiny 2 and of course update 2.7.1 which has dropped today. I'll link the full patch notes down below, but of course some of the highlights would include that Bungie have fixed a problem which prevented Eris from granting the final lore entry from Shadowkeep. That'll be pretty interesting, but also the green with envy quest should now progress properly. That issue with the playing with odds emblem for Gambit. And then for rare black armory bounties of course Bungie have improved the drop rates, so the chances actually increase as you complete weekly and daily bounties. On top of this you're guaranteed to drop one from bounty completion after 5 days if completing all of the 801 bounties, so maybe if you don't own Izanagi's Burden that will be a bit of a shortcut that you can use now. And then otherwise in the update, for the sandbox they fixed a problem where the heavy handed mod could trigger from Telesto bolts and the bugs that allowed Worm Gods and Winter's Guile, as well as Syntheseps to actually retain all of their damage buffs. And once the update's gone out, Bungie will allow players to equip Worm Gods and Winter's Guile once again. Bear that in mind as well as the fact that you can now shortcut directly to the roster by selecting any empty fireteam slots that you have. And then Bungie have buffed Breakneck to increase the damage with Rampage stacks 1 and 2, as well as reducing the screen shake on Hardlight. So those are some of the highlights from the update, but of course those full patch notes are linked down below. Otherwise, next week we are going to be getting the Empyrean Foundation, and Bungie did tease that we'll be getting a few details about precisely what that's going to be later on this week, so stay tuned for those. Before we talk any more about updates and the weekly reset right now, quick heads up, after patch a few people are noticing Glimmer that has gone missing, or certain consumable items that have gone missing, items in inventories and things like that. It seems like quite a few players are affected in some way by this, so we'll have to see what Bungie say. Obviously, it is related to the update that we've had today. It's probably going to take us a little bit longer to get any more details about precisely what's going on, so I will keep you posted on the channel. Now that we're actually inside of the game and that we have the update live, it doesn't appear that we can see anything especially remarkable in terms of new content quests or things like that popping up. And DMG did say to set expectations that today's update really is about fixes that they're bringing into the game and not necessarily brand new content but they will give us details on Empery and Foundation before that launches next week. For pinnacle drops though in the legend sundial bear in mind that your first drop inside of each weekly reset will reward a pinnacle drop but then for pinnacle drops on the moon of course we have our nightmare hunt so we've got fear as well as rage and then isolation. This week's raid challenge of course in the garden of salvation is the leftovers challenge so bear that one in mind and otherwise, of course, you can get that pinnacle drop inside of the Pit of Heresy dungeon. With Empyrean Foundation coming up next week, I would once again give that quick shout to try and upgrade the Tower Obelisk fully if you can, but also we've got that requirement for 5,000 Fractaline to be donated inside of that foundation. So bear those in mind because those will be necessary requirements for what we'll be doing next week. Inside of Eververse though, Bungie are featuring some new Void emotes, so you can pick these up for specific classes for 500 silver if you're interested. And then otherwise, of course, we do have other featured items for silver on the front page. But then, of course, we also have the bright dust section on the front page. So we've got the face palm emote as well as the Sates Invocation exotic ship right there. Something interesting to take a look at. The Vex Gate Arrival Transmat Effect. And then a pretty cool shader that I haven't spotted before right there. Maybe something you want to try and pick up and that name looks pretty crazy. But otherwise there is of course the main bright dust page. So we've got the Galloping Knight emote that was up for last week. Uh, with silver, or for silver, sorry. Once again, Saints Invocation, and then the Vice Shell, which is a pretty cool foundry themed shell you can pick up for Bright Dust. We've got the Foretelling Ornament for the Bad Omens, the Ain't My First Rodeo Ornament for the Chaperone right there, which is a pretty cool looking one. Good that we can get that one for Bright Dust. Then we've got the Chess Piece right there for the Titan Class, and the Mind Jack Projection, as well as the Sunglasses Projection, the Up in Smoke, the Royal Welcome Shader, and the Circadian Chill Shader right there as well. The weekly flashpoint is going to be over on Nessus, 
But then the ordeal nightfall, of course, with the potential of pinnacle gear, as well as powerful stuff, actually takes place on the moon, so that's going to be the Scarlet Keep. And then for our traditional nightfalls, we've got Strange Terrain right there, that can drop the Braytech Osprey. And then we also have Will of the Thousands, and this can randomly award the Worm God Incarnation Transman effect. And then finally Broodhold, which doesn't actually have an exclusive drop, as it was a previous Strike exclusive. To our legacy content though, we have the Menagerie, with Arc Singe, Blackout, and Grenadier in the normal mode, and then Heroic gets Extinguish, Grenadier, Famine, and Solar Singe. If you're curious about prestige mode for year one raid layers, we do have Prism for the modifiers as well as Arms Master with Kinetic Hand Cannon, Energy Sniper Rifle and anything in the power slot. However, if it's Reckoning that you want to jump into, today we've got modifiers of Arc Singe and then Brawler. If you are completing any year one and two legacy content for the Escalation Protocol, Nurabath, the Crest of Zol will be the boss this week and that means you have a chance to get the shotgun when you take the boss down. But then of course we have the Dreaming City, where this week's Ascendant Challenge is going to be in the Forfeit Shrine, which is accessed via Garden of Isilla. As always, if you need the location or gameplay for that one, I will run it at the end of the video. But otherwise, for today, guys, that's everything we've got to round up in this initial reset. I'll keep you posted with any additional stuff we get about the update, and then all of the new stuff later on in the week when Bungie talk about some of the events we'll get in February. So if you do enjoy the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also turn on notifications so I can keep you up to date with everything related to the game. Otherwise, though, thanks as always for tuning in, guys. Once again, feel free to check out that Now Drinks link for the exclusive new flavor. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day. down. 